Hey everyone, welcome back to the series on how to create a private selling partner API application. We are in the final two steps of the workflow, connect to SP API and call SP API endpoints. First, we need to generate LWA access token using the refresh token that we got. Note that I will be using environmental variables all through the Postman demo for convenience. Let's call the LWA auth endpoint with grant type refresh token, the refresh token generated, client ID and client secret of the app and hit send. We got the LWA access token in the response which is valid for one hour. This access token can now be used to call any SP API operation except restricted operations. SP API provides static sandbox endpoints that can be used for testing. So let's make a call to one of the sandbox endpoints to make sure our app works as expected. To do this, you need to import the corresponding model to your Postman workspace. I have imported Seller's API model and we are going to test Get Marketplace Participations operation. Under Headers tab, pass the LWA access token that we just got and then hit Send. We did it! The call was successful. And that's the end of the series. We have successfully created a private selling partner API app and did a sample API call using Postman. To summarize, we have covered the following steps. Create a developer profile, request data access, create a private selling partner API application, self-authorize application, connect to SP API, and call SP API endpoints. Great job on creating your private selling partner API application. Hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more SP API videos and happy coding from all of us at Amazon Selling Partner API team. Thanks for watching.